Luke, Tom, and Nathan here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And today we're going out and doing a wilderness survival video. Yes! We're yes. going camping! Yeah, us going camping! And we're gonna see if we can survive in the woods. Yeah! With our wits and our tools. And loads and loads of snacks for mommy. Yeah. No, all and right. from bees. All right, guys, you ready to go do a little hike? Yeah. Let's let's go. It's gonna be far. You can can you handle this? We go play hot two three four. We go hot two three four. All right, let's do it. All righty. You guys keep it up. Yeah, it's it's tough over here. Oh, can you can you keep up? Are you okay? We're gonna make it. Don't give up, boys. <laughs> We're gonna use the roll away function. How's that? Good. They're working good? Yeah, that, that's exactly what it was designed for. All right. Come on, keep going. Keep going. We only have 15 more miles to go. You're tired? Do you know who else was tired? The Donner Party. They were tired. You want me to carry it? Yeah. Oh! Come on! <laughs> Guys, you hear that? Yes! You hear that? It's a pack of wolves. Come on, we gotta hurry up. Move fast. Don't get your back. Come on. Come on, the wolves. Don't drift. We can outrun them. Tommy, I know your leg's broken. And Nathan, I know you've been bitten by a rattlesnake. But do you think we can keep going? Yeah. I know it's broken. I'm just, just tired. We can do this. Keep coming. How about we we'll use hiking sticks? You know, that's a great idea. Use hiking sticks. I have to have hiking sticks. Do you have a hiking stick? Yeah. This works. Oh. Oh. All right, nice guys. We made it. Woo! Make it. Oh. Woo! Oh. Woo! Is it a great one to have? Yep. <laughs> you okay, David? Yeah. All right, guys. Shall we set up the camp? Yeah. Get the tent going. Okay. All right. Let's get the tent out. Oh. Well, check out my tent. This is a Stingray hammock tent. It's a three-person tent, but it's a hammock. So. We're gonna see how this goes. I've never used it before. Just got it off of amazon.com and I'll put a link in the description. But I got it mostly because I camp in a lot of areas where we don't have flat ground. And uh, because it's a hammock, I can string it up amongst the trees even if there's not flat ground. So like here, you can see we've got really sloped ground. So yeah, nowhere to put a normal tent. But hopefully this will work. We'll find out. Warning, do not use walls, fences, street furniture, roof racks, or posts as anchor points. That seems really specific. I think that wasn't a hypothetical. That looks like a rain fly. Okay. The problem I see so far is that the trees have to be exactly an equilateral triangle. If it's more than five degrees off, it doesn't work. So you gotta pick your trees pretty carefully. And if you wanna camp in a particular spot, like in a state-run campsite, might not be available. So this is much more a backcountry sort of, sort of thing. You guys like that? Is that fun? Yeah, we can jump over there. Yeah, I made it over it. <laughs> now stay off that hole in the middle. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's meant to hold little boys. So I think if you jump on that, you're gonna fall, you're gonna tear it. So don't jump on the middle part. <laughs> Would you guys help me build a fire? 
Okay, why don't you guys look around and see if you can gather up a bunch of sticks and make a big pile of sticks on the fire pit. There's a bunch of sticks right here on this side of the wall. Good job, Nathan. Good job, Tommy. I'm a tiny pig. As soon as we get done unpacking the bag, we'll get ready to go, all right? Oh, hey, look, guys. I forgot. I totally forgot we packed Jacob. Oh, good. Jacob's here. Oh, it's his first camping trip. There you go, Jacob. Back up. You made it. I'm surprised you made it past the pack of wolves. They nearly got Nathan. Surprised too. I'll out when I get in my big yeah, book. Tommy, watch out. Oh, ah. This is so cool. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get out of here, but this is awesome. Can you do it all by yourself? You got it? You got it? Oh, it's touching it. Don't, oh, don't, oh. Today we're going ghetto fabulous, folks. I didn't want to pack ketchup, <laughs> so I got a bunch of Chick-fil-A sauce in here. <laughs> there we go. We're having we're having Chick-fil-A hot dogs. There you go, Chick-fil-A dog. Let's see how high it's. I like the fly. My hot dog is nice and burning. You hold your hot dog and eat it up really good like a good boy. And I'll make you a marshmallow, okay? Yeah, my smell. Oh, you like that? Dad, can I have one? Yeah, come here, bud. Oh, is the top one's done, Daddy. Oh, you like that? Yes, yeah, Mama. Oh. Mama. Oh, thank you. So, all right. I like to have one, Daddy. Oh. Yeah, perfect. I get mine. Oh, perfect. I get mine. Me, Daddy. Hey guys, look up there. See the eyes? See, you can see their eyes glowing in the dark. Raccoons up there. You see them? You see their eyeballs? You guys ready for Fat Dad to come in? Yeah. Alright guys, uh, you ready to go to sleep? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's see if we can do this and uh, I'll give you guys an update in the morning. Well guys, I wish I had a better camera because we're sitting here without the rain fly on. And guys, what did you see up in the sky? Um, stars. That's right, there's stars up there. Yeah, I, I think this is the first time you guys have ever slept under the stars. Yeah, a long time. They're awesome. Well, all right, well how about this? Let's turn off the light and let's count the stars, okay? Yeah. All right, good night guys. Good night. Well, good morning everyone. Hey, good morning. <laughs> You sleep well, Nathan? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Because you woke up screaming several times. Did you guys hear the raccoons fight last night? After you fell asleep, the two of those raccoons just got into a massive fight and they were spitting and hissing and rolling around and they went on for a while. Well, now that we've spent a night in the tent, let me give you my review. First off, I like the way this thing is built. It's really solid, it's good quality. Stop farting on your brother's head. So the downside to this though is it's pretty heavy. Um, it's for a three-man tent, it's a bulky sucker. And so if you're gonna be camping or backpacking any significant distance and weight's an issue, that might be a be a problem. It's pretty roomy for a three-man tent. You know, it, honestly, most three-man tents are only one-man tents. For a uh, for a big guy like me, I'm six foot five, 250 pounds. This is this is pretty good. If you are looking for a tent to use in warm weather, this is the this is absolutely perfect. You've got full ventilation at the top, and you've got loads of air coming up through the floor because you're off the ground. So this tent will keep you cooler than just about any other tent I can think of. So one downside to the design is what to do with all your loose stuff. So they have this pouch here in the middle, um, and, and that's okay, but the problem is it's in the middle. We end up sleeping on it a little bit. As the father of several small boys, one thing about this tent that everyone seems to absolutely love is how springy it is. It's like sleeping on a trampoline. 
You guys like that? Yeah, I it's springy, yeah. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> but there's a bit of a learning curve to, to setting this thing up. You really need to be able to, to pick your trees, right? And then you ratchet one strap a little bit, and then the next one a little bit, then the next one a little bit. It's kind of like tightening lug nuts on a car tire. Just give yourself a little extra time the first time you set it up and you'll be okay. What do you think of the tent, Nathan? It's awesome. It's awesome? Tommy, do you like the tent? Yes. You know what I really bought this hammock tent for was to let us camp while fishing. I like to do overnight fishing trips. And there's no campsites. And people don't really want you oh, uh, clearing out brush and making campsites. And this will let me just string up my tent between some trees and we're good to go. And it doesn't need to be even ground. Those boys sure love that thing. It's like a giant playpen. <laughs> you guys ready to go get some breakfast? Yeah. Okay, check this out though. Here, you guys can use the escape hatch. Okay. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> well, this has been fun, but I've got a very busy day today. So I'm going to get the tent broken down, get everything back in the bags, get the boys home. All good things must uh, come to an end. One thing that's actually really impressive about this design is there's very little stretch in any of the material. This is a lot of force these ratchet straps have put this under. So this thing is really tight. And if you suddenly release it, and it was stretchy, it would spring back in your face and potentially hit, hurt you. But it doesn't do that, so that's uh, good design. Look at that. Well, with all the boys jumping up and down on the hammock, I'm curious to see whether it damaged the tree at all. I feel pretty good about that. I don't think that hurt the tree at all. That looks like it just knocked off some of the loose bark but didn't expose any of the actual living wood. One of my big pet peeves with tents is that the bags that they put them in are so tight and small, it's hard to get the tent back in. Tight, but it actually got back into the bag without folding it up properly. That's nice. All right, careful. Yeah. Uh. One naked camper. Tommy, are you climbing a tree in your pajamas? I'm naked. You're climbing a tree naked. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video. Oh, look at this. In our backyard. <laughs>